Destination at is a technique that is used to map one IP address to another IP address. In 40 gate terms, it is called virtual IP. Now, there are different scenarios and you can actually play around with the destination at. In one case, we will map the interface WAN IP, which currently on our demonstration is 4444, to the uh, web server IP address using different ports, different services. It will all be mapped to port 80, but we will use different services. In another case, we will actually map three web servers using one IP address. So let's start. All right, so we are actually asked to map 4444, 4, 4, 4, which is our uh, external WAN interface to a specific web server or several web server. Now, the very basic virtual IP or destination net is as follows. You create a new virtual IP that is in pulsing objects and you map the external IP address to the internal resource, which is very basic. You can also play around with port numbers, but this is the very basic mapping. The second uh, scenario, which is a bit more complex, is to map our web server to uh, specific services, specific port numbers. So let's just use the 8080 and 8081. So we're actually mapping 4444, which is our external WAN interface, to the same IP address, which is 10.0.1.3. But here we use two more options. The first one is services. We actually create new services using two different port numbers. We can play around with that, but let's just, um, for the sake of the demonstration, let's only use 8080 and 8081. So uh, we create a new service. That's the... Um, port numbers starting from 8080 up to 8081 and we're actually using those two ports so anyone that will try to access the web server using the 4.4.4.4 .4 .4 .4 colon 8080 or 8081 will be mapped to port 80 of our web server. All right, now for our third scenario where we have two or three web servers and only one IP address, that is only one external IP address, and we want to map it using different port numbers. So for that, we will use several virtual IP and then aggregate them to a virtual IP group. So let's name our first web server one and let's just map it using the same external IP address. Let's now use different. This is the first web server and we are using port forwarding. We are using port 8080 up to 8080 and we are mapping it to port 80. That is the uh, HTTP port of our web server. All right, now let's just create another virtual IP that is web server 2. And the external IP address is the same. The web server IP address, internal IP address is different. This time it will be 10.0.1.4, but this time we will use a different port. It will be 8081, so let's just use 8081 and again map it to port 80. All right, and now we have two virtual IP, one for our um, uh, web server, which is at the 10.0.1.3. The second one is 10.0.1.4. Anyone who will try to access uh, the very first web server using 4444 colon will use this 
port number. Anyone who's trying to um, get into the second web server, which is at the 10.0.1.4, will use 4444 colon 8081. Now you will actually use virtual IP group to aggregate these two web servers here and you can now actually use that in your policy.